Hello, welcome back to our Oracle Cloud Infrastructure series. Today we're going to demystify OCA pricing and cost management and uh, you're going to take this as an essential aspect for efficiently managing your cloud resources. So OCI offers a competitive and transport pricing model. Yeah, it's designed to provide cost efficiency, whether you're running small scale application or large enterprise applications. Now, if you want to see exactly what is the basic list price, yeah, so remember list price, if you go and search for uh, OCI cost estimator, on this page, you'll be able to see the fully daily updated list price of uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure uh, services. Okay, so you're gonna go, you'll be redirected to this page. And in here, you can start creating your own bill of material based on uh, the data that uh, you, you need. Okay, so this is the second generation of uh, this bill of material uh, solution, yeah, cost estimator. And if you want to take, let's say, let's start creating uh, a virtual machine. Yeah, I want to see the price for a virtual machine. I will choose between the different shape that I want to use. Yeah, I am the Amter Oriental. I'm a fan of IMD. In here, let me go with the latest uh, I, uh, IMD uh, price. Yeah, so let's take it. Yeah, one of CPU of E5 is thirty-four dollars. One of CPU of E4 it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, but uh, if you take the performance test, yeah, you're gonna see what is best for you. Yeah, so it is also important. Now, if you go, you also see E3 Flex. E3 Flex has the same price as the E4. So that means the prices for the processor, they increased a little bit. Now, if we move to Intel shapes, okay, so we're gonna select uh, on uh, standard Flex. The price for one of CPU, it is very close to the one that is for the G5 from IMD. So let me go back to IMD, select the E5. And in here, let's say, uh, not the SIO shapes. Let's go with a new one with one processor, eight GB of RAM. And I will run autonomous Linux on the machine. And I want to go on demand, yeah, because then I don't want to uh, use the preemptible part or capacity reservation at this point. Also, the machine, let's say, the, uh, we're gonna have I will extend, I only have one boot volume of 50 GB and a block volume of another 50 GB, very small application. I'm also going with, yeah, the free tire. Okay, so I have this part in here now. So I have a virtual machine with block storage with uh, IMD, one on CPU, and I add the configuration. Now, because I want to use uh, this configuration, what I can do next, I want to connect uh, maybe to uh, a base database, Oracle database, not the autonomous, yeah? But I will uh, create also an autonomous to understand what is the difference in the pricing. Now, based on my need, yeah? An enterprise edition is a very, uh, let's say, uh, complete database, yeah? With the f functionalities of Oracle databases. So maybe for me, as a beginner, starting to learn, uh, a standard uh, is more than enough. So because this is for learning uh, and I don't need too much uh, data, the same I'll go with a small database. Yeah, one of CPU, only for flex and 16 GB of RAM and not I'd only need more than 256 GB of uh, database. Now I will let the storage to go on high performance. Okay, so that means the storage will be $42. The price for the machine itself uh, and also for the licenses that for using Oracle uh, database it's $159 per month and with the other part in here yeah so I get to a total of $236 until now so I have a virtual machine what I can do let's say I don't like only one virtual machine I'll click in here I'll go to two instances that will run 24-7 uh, and one thing that I'm missing at this point is a load balancer yeah, for a basic uh, uh, environment. So in here, I will select a category. I will go to the networking part, and I will also put a layer seven load balancer because the network load balancer uh, it is free of charge. So I'll go with one base, yeah, load balancer, and let's say uh, bandwidth. I can go, let's say, to one hundred megabytes. Yeah, small application, test application, and this is the price. And another thing that I also want to use it because 
you, you know you have a load balancer why not use the capability and the security part that comes with the OCI so I'll go to the security and from here I will select a web application firewall okay that comes I will not uh, add additional services like uh, vulnerability and so on on this bill of material because it's free of charge yeah so I will have one firewall instance uh, let's go let's say I will have at least 2 million requests for my website so I'm still in the free tiling prices but in here let's say I will go with two web application firewalls so one WAF instance is five dollars and uh, let's say I will have three million I think ten million would get me some prices oh wait uh, yeah okay so I think 20 yeah so after uh, 10 yeah, free uh, 10 million new free requests yeah you're gonna go and pay something like this so yeah very cheap and at the end with 300 dollars per month I can even run production grade uh, environment on OCI at the end after